Hi, I'm Ben from Sorted Food, and I have to be honest, I use Liam Perrin's Worcestershire sauce quite a bit at home and in loads of our videos, but I've never put much thought into what actually goes into the magic bottle. So I've sent our three best men up to Worcester to investigate. Worcester! The RC&E are silent. Home to 96,443 people. Extrapolated from 2010 census projections. Shakespeare was probably married here. Edward Elgar's dad had a music shop here. What are you doing? These are not good facts about Worcester. They're the only facts I could find. They're interesting. They're good facts. Where did you find these? Internet. Right, well now you're actually in Worcester. Do you not think you should speak to some Worcestonians and actually get some proper Worcester facts? Good idea. I think they're Worcesterians. That's fine. We'll go inside. Yeah. What the? Hi, Shane. Hiya. Welcome to the Lee and Perry Factory, guys. Jamie, I understand that you're doing some tasting, so yes. you're going to need that. Thank you. And Barry, I think you're doing a factory tour, so oh, you're going to need really. these <laughs> and a few other uh, things to wear. Firstly, Shane, where are we and where have you taken me? Uh, so we are in the cellar of the Liam Perrins factory. So we've got anchovy, garlic and onions down here. Um, we put them in the barrels that you see around you and they stay in there for about 18 months in malt vinegar, just quite maturing the way. And why aren't you wearing a... Uh, I don't need to. Clean shaven. <sighs> okay, so supposedly there are other secret ingredients to Liam Perrins. We think Shane knows, but we know at least four people know. I do need to let you on a bit of a secret though, which well, is part of the reason for inviting you today yeah. is it is Stockholm Day. Okay. Um, right. So if you wouldn't mind, yeah. um, I'll take, help. That, take the next couple of hours, count up the bounce. It's said that C.S. Lewis based the lamppost from Narnia on an actual lamppost from Worcester. In the centre of Worcester is the Hive, because it looks like a beehive, a £60 million learning resource centre and library that's made out of 24 karat gold. Probably. In 1839, Liam Perrins was actually imported into the US, making it America's oldest condiment. Well, I don't know any facts about the cathedral. That is genius. It's not actually stock taking day, which is a good job because Barry doesn't seem to be able to count above 27. Watch this. What are you on, Barry? Now I know my knowledge is a little bit basic, but what just happened there was a bunch of onions fell into a barrel, yeah? Uh, yeah. And actually there are loads of spikes up here. Oh. So what it does is pierce the onions, drops them in the barrel, then once this is full up, we obviously put the malt vinegar in that, seal it, and then it goes in to join the other barrels. Oh, and that's so where the spikes, so it soaks up all those with that vinegar? Correct, yeah. Oh. So we give that both the onions and, uh, and the garlic, obviously separately, but they all go into those barrels. I think that's everything. Apart from one thing, the secret ingredient. Okay. Is that upstairs? Uh, well, we've got the bottling upstairs, and we've yeah. got where we actually mix the ingredients together upstairs, yeah. which I can show you. Um, as for the secret ingredient, it's unlikely that you're going to see that. Really? Yeah, sorry. We'll find this out. What do you use it for? What recipes and dishes? Roast dinners. And it is wonderful. If you do fried tomatoes and you put a little on fried tomatoes. Cheese on toast. Put on porridge. Be nice. What? Some porridge. <laughs> Scrambled egg on toast. There are secret ingredients. And they wouldn't tell us what they were, but they said that only four people in the world knew what they were. I just want you to sort of speculate 
any ideas of what you think may be in it? God, um, I'm just going to say lobster. Lobster? <laughs> Rabbit? Yeah. Um, trees. Trees? Trees. That really was helpful. <laughs> Cheers, you've enlightened me, thank you. I can't feel anything, it's so cold. So, back to the factory I go. Can I just ask you, do you know the secret ingredient? <laughs> Just what I needed. What'd you learn? Uh, I learned that Liam Herring's actually goes with loads of different stuff, so I can tell Ben what the flavour combinations are, and hopefully he can make some recipes. Sweet, good. What about you? I spoke to some lovely Rustodians about what they use LMP with, and I learned some interesting facts. Hey, I didn't find out the secret ingredient was. No. Well done. Well, we should go back and report to Ben, shouldn't we? We should. Which way is it? Uh, Worcester's that way, so this way. Top job lads, knew I could trust you. Well, I'm going to take all that information and come up with stacks of recipes using Worcestershire sauce and then you can see all of those in the coming future on the Liam Perrins YouTube channel.